guys, and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. Okay, we're going to get on this episode, hopefully, we're gonna go visit that motherfucker up there. See him in the distance. He's the guy who's throwing the arrows slash lance that are hitting the cemetery. That place right all the way, all the way over there. You don't, you can't quite see it, but that's him. That's the guy responsible for it. And then we're gonna go get a weapon. All right. So starting off, the fastest way is not this way. The fastest way is through the other bonfire. So let's travel to the the cliff underside. This is the bonfire you go to the boss with. And it's the bonfire that is closer to where we want to go. I think it is. Right, hold on, guys. Alright, just turn on my light. Forgot to turn on my light. I saw my picture and it was it's too dark. Alright. From here on out, that's the way we dropped. Yeah, there's nothing over here. It's up and over the roof. Just gotta be careful with those man servants. They won't do nothing to us. Just gotta be careful with those over there. That's where we wanna go. That way. That tower right there. So, we're gonna get down from here. Here. Alright. Just ignore him. Go down. There's an ambush on this side. Just gotta be careful. You can barely see him. I think you can see him from here. He's down there somewhere. Yeah, you can barely, yeah, see his hat? It's right there, next to my souls. So you can do... Get close enough to activate him. And get away. Because that's a really nasty one. That's what he does. He slashes at you. To try to throw you down. Damn it, I can't even hit him. Gotta get into the rhythm again. Just make me lose two Estes. At this point, we've got to upgrade our Estes because we don't have enough. Um, we're at the point that we need to drink twice to generate almost half of it. Not even half, so yeah. So that's uh, a little item and a little ambush you should be aware of. Again, I don't quite remember. From this place on, it gets a little bit foggier. Right? So, the witch... Should be patrolling, but she's not. Let's just pull one of these. Or you either pull the dog, or you pull this fucker. And again, no poise. You can just dive right into them. And gotta be really careful. I thought you were gonna dive at me. Dude, dive. Got an ember, and that's the way to the boss right here. But you can't access it from this area. This is like an exit. See, it doesn't open from this side. But we are gonna open it from the other side. Just gotta be careful. Gotta kill the witch. That should be patrolling, but it's not. She's not. We can do th two things. Well, three, basically. One, kill her, go to the tower, and open up a shortcut. So just gotta be careful, because there are dogs here. Don't know if... Okay, let me pull her. You should be walking. And you should be accompanied by more enemies. 
but sometimes they fuck up. The patrol fucks up and they fall. Dude, close. Backstep now. I managed to stagger her. Or that was gonna be bad. Put another spell at us. Come on, put another spell. Put another spell. There you go. Dodge. Backstab her ass. Dude, I hit you. You didn't take any damage. Talk about invisible. Invincible. Alright. Gotta be careful here now. There are dogs here. Alright. Just go down it. Kick his ass. There are gonna be some rats here that you need to take care of. Dude, slash the fuck out of them. These rats don't poison you. And there is also Cestus, Caestus or Cestus, don't know how to spell that. And just be wary, be wary. There are enemies here, all right? So you can see one, two, and there's a third one. There, one, two, three, all right? Gotta be really careful. I suggest you use your fire bombs on one by one. And on this fucker, which is a big ass rat, just do that. And you get the Blood Bite Ring. This ring will help you with uh, increased bleed resistance, which is the what the witches do to you and what another part of this game does. You'll see some enemies soon enough. What do you say? Shortcut ahead? Yes, I know there's a shortcut ahead. That's why we came here. I just want you guys to know this. This right here. That it's locked. We will come back to that later on in the game. Not right now. So right now we're going to go and open up the shortcut. Rest and come back here. No, we're not even going to rest. Okay, there's the lizard. Let's try to hurry up and get it. Yeah, you can't get it. Can't get it like this. We'll get it some other time. But you guys saw the lizard. It was up there. I think I'm gonna have to go around and then ambush him. Just rush him. But that's basically the shortcut back. Now, we have enough life, so we're not gonna. Hopefully, we're not gonna need any more. Um, this will be a bit tricky. First, you get close enough for him to follow you. You gotta minimize the enemies that are gonna follow you because you're gonna run through this, right? On that side is the cliff that we cut an enemy down. All right. Dodge, dodge. All right, just gonna run for it. There should be a corpse around here. The thing is that you have to run all the way over here. We're gonna ignore everything. We'll try and come back here when we're ready to come back here. Wipe both of you. Only one of you should come. And right there, we'll see an enemy. One of you should go back. All right, you fell off, oh, but you're coming up. Oh! Iron head, can you kill him? Alright, we're gonna fight here. Generally, they don't come this far down. At most... Damn it. At most, they just go back. This is the most they come, right here. But I guess they chose to come all the way down. Now you gotta be careful because we're gonna be fighting two of them. Alright. Motherfucker fell down. I heard that. 
Careful with those swings. Really careful with those. And he's dead. Well, since we're here, might as well um, talk to this mm. guy. Another one of those unkindled, are you? All you faceless undead, behaving as if you deserve respect. Mm, no matter. Heed my words. If you've any sense, you go find a coffin to huddle up inside. You here, in this land of hollows. You're like a frail maiden on the front lines. If, like the others, you're fool enough to play the champion, then go on ahead. Trapes right past the abandoned church. You'll face death. And it won't be pretty. Enough death to leave you broken. Time after time. <laughs> yeah. If, like the others, you're fool enough to then go on it. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna repeat the dialogue. And right here, that's not from this side. Part you can see somebody over there, right? Yeah. So. What we're going to do here are three things. One, talk to Siegfried, which is our NPC. Hmm. Hmm. New NPC. And a... Hmm. And we start a quest hmm. with him. Pardon me, I was absorbed in thought. I am Siegbert of Katarina. To be honest, I'm in a bit of a pickle. Have you ever walked near a white birch only to be struck by a great arrow? Well, if I'm not mistaken, they come from this tower. Whoever it is, I'm sure I can talk some sense into them. But I have to find a way up. And that's just the trouble. This lift only goes down, you see, and... Uh, well, that doesn't get me anywhere. Hmm. You can hmm. kind of see his face. This lift with a. Hmm. All right. So we just gotta be a little bit smart about it. He says the lift only goes down. That's because he only steps on it and goes down. But there's another one up here. This is the one we're gonna go get. Not the sh smartest tool in the shed. The, the sharper tool, but it's an awesome character. You got the soldier named the soldier, and yes, he is um, a soldier that we've seen before in our Dark Souls game. And here is a giant. Who are you? I'll make peace. I help any time. You get the, that's all. I help any time. But I with help that, any time. With that, well, you can see right there, you can see the Eldritch Church on the distance. You can see the boss area. And with that, he's not going to shoot arrows at us anymore. He'll shoot arrows at the enemies that are down there. In the cemetery, but he won't shoot at us. So that's very helpful of him. He does help anytime. And he makes our life right there easier, right? It's just straight out easier. Now I want you to notice Siegfried. Hmm. Alright. I don't I don't I don't know if you saw him. But we'll come back to that later. First, we're going to go down. No, the other side. We're going to go down to get our weapon. Our good warrior weapon that we're going to be stuck with, we're going to upgrade it until we get the other weapon. It's just a bit of a nuisance to get because we have to pass 
some strong enemies, and in particular, a really strong enemy. You have to pass a really, really strong enemy. There is a quick way to dodge him. You just have to be really fast. He's right there. Gotta wait for him. Alright, damn it. We should have dodged that. But he's really fast. Right there, you just have dodged and you'll be on your way. He won't come all the way over here. That's as far as he goes, right? That's a dance from the Bory Valley. He's just gonna chill there. But we're gonna light up this bonfire. And we're gonna rest on it because we gotta get our Estus Flask up and our light. Now we're gonna go get a weapon. Just gotta be really careful here. These enemies, I suggest you rush them and kill them before they get their wings. Once they do get their wings, they are hard as fuck. They just flail about and they will bust your ass. Right here, just drop down on him. Try to kill him as fast as you can. There we go, we got some shivering stones. But we're almost there. Okay, that guy over there. Throw his poison, you gotta be really careful with that guy. On this side, I don't quite remember this area as much. All I remember are a few enemies at the beginning. And right over there is our weapon. It's not that, but it's an enemy that comes out when you reach that item over there. Now, got to be careful here because there are two enemies that you got to be really, really fast and rush. Just got to kill one. You're not going to kill both of them, but you do got to kill one. At least one. Alright. Alright, this fucker, like I said, they get mad at you when they got their wings. They just flood around. Kind of lose him right there, but we're good. So not it's not that bad. It's just really annoying. Now you gotta be careful with this guy. He's gonna throw poison at you. And one more. They're not that bad. You just gotta get up close to them, and they'll be taken care of. Okay. Now from here. Did we drop yet? Yeah, we had to drop. Just gotta be careful. Just wanna see this. Yeah. What does this say? Amber ahead. I don't think there's an amber ahead. I don't recall an amber ahead. So now. On this side, there'll be somebody walking up to us. She always comes out and she always has the cleaver. Right, that's what we want. So it's gonna take her <gasps> over here. Gotta be really careful. This bitch is mad as fuck. Alright, that's the ability. The weapon ability that she activated. So it's gonna be careful when she activates it because the ability of that weapon is to heal herself. Just right. a bit of a tough one. Throw so dunk piles at us. Right. I was supposed to dodge there. Alright, you're dead. Get the butcher knife. That's what we're gonna be using. All right, we got this an attribute bonus of strength of 24. I mean, you need 24 for the strength, and it's an A on strength. So that's what we're gonna be using. All right, and we're gonna dual wield it. And of course, the ability we generate life whenever we hit with it. So that's all we're gonna do down here. 
that's all there is to do. We're just gonna get a couple of things. We've got the armor. Might as well just get it since we're here. And the twin daggers. Alright, so we're gonna use the bone. And go to the shrine by fire. We're gonna level up and look at some dialogue and level up the weapon. First, the weapon because we need salts for that, and the dialogue as well. Heavens, she was already dead. You get the gesture. For Heavens. A lot of people use this gesture. Can I switch? Yeah. They use this to hide in bushes. Imagine there's a bush right there. They just get up on it. And then they do the gesture and they curl up into a tiny ball just to get an edge on you. Now on this side, you will see. Oh, I would be safe. You don't ha get any levels from him anymore, or, or at least not right now. Another NPC is right here, the Pyromancer. Ah, oh, there you are, unkindled one. I wish to express my gratitude for trusting a lowly Pyromancer and allowing me to gaze upon this majestic flame. As promised, I will impart Pyromancies to you. But first, you will need a flame of your own. It gives us the pyromancy flame. Careful, Just you don't burn yourself with it. <laughs> we could use pyromancy. I mean, any class can use anything, right? You can do a hybrid warrior, pyromancy, whatever. But you, this way, you reinforce it. You tighten and charge and all that. You can purchase the pyromancy's garment. Around the garb, the trousers, and that's pretty much. That's all we've got to, to learn. Do with pyromances, me. you must vow to become my pupil. I know, I know, but such is the way of the world. Respect your elders and so on. And pyromancy, of course, is no exception. <laughs> do not be gone for long. What is a teacher without a pupil? <laughs> and he laughs. Of course he laughs. Ah, it is good to see you. What needs? Did we get the Estes flat? No, no Estes shards. But we are gonna reinforce the weapon. We are going to reinforce this one. And that's all. We need six titan shards to enforce it even better but what we have butcher knife plus two which is 120 114 plus 56 so that's that's good enough we can also infuse it if we want no we cannot infuse it because it's a special but weapon. be careful but we are going to level up welcome home speak then. very well then touch taken gonna level up or right, we already got we got to 20 strength to 20 dex to 10 we're gonna put some endurance 15 endurance will be good enough retreating to a darkness I think it'll be good enough yeah that will give us defense to magic to fire casting themselves upon new forms and the endurance will also give us more stamina so we can slash more. Right, that's good enough. Uh, later on we're gonna want more strength. For, but for now that's pretty much what we want right now. And we've got 345 souls left which isn't that much. Which is good just in case we die. Ooh, yet to give in, eh? Good. The firekeeper must be twitching with delight. But what do you really know about these Lords of Cinder? These supposed legends? Let's take Aldrich for one. A ripe 
devout and proper cleric. Only he developed a habit of devouring men. He ate so many that he bloated like a drowned pig, then softened into sludge. So they stuck him in the Cathedral of the Deep, and they made him a Lord of Cinder, not for virtue, but for might. Such as a Lord, I suppose. But here I ask, do we have a sodding chance? <laughs> At the foot of Lothric Castle, an old path still runs below the tower in the undead settlement. It was used to transport sacrifices to the Cathedral of the Deep. You should see where it leads, if you've the stones for it. <laughs> This dialogue? Fret not, fret not. It's still the same. Now we're gonna we are gonna get the bone shard, which will this is the bone shard. Don't remember. But we are gonna travel back to not the Royal Sacrifice, but the cliff underside no, we're gonna go to the undead settlement. No. Cliff underside. The Lepitator Bridge. That's where we want to go. Sorry, guys. Now we're going to go, once we talk to the giant, we're going this way. Alright. So, the lizard's still up there. Let's walk over here and try not to alert him. See if we can get him real quick. We got him. Got the sharp gem. And we weren't even uh, dual wielding. So, really good weapon. Now, let's try it on him. Activate the ability. See, this fucker just staggers. with those white swings but yeah that's good enough now this will make our life a lot easier you see him charging throwing and not at us he helps anytime all right, that way we can explore everything easier. All right. There's one. Oh, I didn't even see you in the dust. There's another one. Oh, damn, the dust. I'm just gonna make our friend do it. Okay, I'll do it then. And get the fading soul, the amber, the junk white branch, more branches, souls, just everything, right? And. It's good to meet the giant first before going to the, coming down here because you have to keep dodging the arrows, Mortician's Ashes. That's Ash to level up to give our Maiden more inventory, more supplies. And up there you can see him, it's an ambush. If you go up to him, he will strike you down. Just gotta be careful with that guy. And you get the blue, the clerics, all all the clerics shit right there. 
That's where you get it. So it's a lot easier when the giant's your friend. You can just be walking around getting everything. Bad part is when he's not your friend and you have to dodge the arrows, you have to dodge the enemies, and you have to dodge the ambush. Now, right here, I have fallen there for not jumping because in other games you get the under bone shard which will upgrade our essence. On other games you would jump with circle or the dodge button, whatever you assigned it to. And then you just kind of press L3. But that's pretty much the cemetery. Now we're gonna go over this way. And be careful here. These fuckers. And you can either lure him out. Or you can take care of him. Alright. Either way, it's good. Just keep him there, and an arrow will rain on his ass. As you can see, he does take a lot of damage. He is red eyed after all, but nothing too bad for us. That's pretty much there is. Now, over here, you're gonna get a sight on this side. Just gotta jump to it. Do we still dodge good? Yeah. Okay, we got a great sight. That's really good if you know how to use it. It'll go straight to your head, to the enemy's head. That's the special ability it has. Uh, it's good for PvP since head crits are good here. Now that's the boss right there, and this door is a shortcut. See it? That's where we were. There is no NPC summons here. We are, are ashed. No, that's a player. Right, yeah. That's just a player. But this is the boss. Two things we have to do here. The most important is try to kill those little fuckers before that guy wakes up. Don't quite remember this boss a lot. It's been a while, almost two years now. But yeah, just kind of wanted to hear them out. It'll make things a lot easier. Trust me, easier things are better things to Dark Souls. Him. Dude, come. Hurry up. He's red eyed. Right, getting some life. Come to us. Dude, come. I think that's as far as it'll let me go. Unless I can pull another guy. Yeah, they'll come. So passivity, yeah, I'll just get life back. But with this, we get even more life back. Yep, a big ass chunk, I just saw that. So we got two enemies now, which is not that bad. Alright, we're good to go. Alright, right here, we gotta gnaw his balls. His ball sack. Gotta be really careful. He turns around. Don't quite remember this boss. I really don't. Alright, that's where we fall. And guess where we were? Yep. Remember that? 
Alright. You get up. Right here. Where are you at? Where's your big bulb? Oh, there you are. Gotta be careful. There's... You have to hit the blisters around them. They're on the feet, on the hand. Just gotta be careful when he has. Alright, summon the thighs. Alright, that's another one down. And each time you do, gotta be really careful because you can do a sweep attack. Alright. There's some on his back, which is a bit of hard because he does that. I thought he was gonna throw himself his back to us. But gotta be careful with that poison on the floor. Alright. There's another one in his leg and the one in his stomach. Which is pretty much the easiest. Okay, he's gonna do a sweep. Uh, he swept that way. Don't know why, but oh well. I'll just get the one in the back. That's good enough. He goes back. Might as well get the one in the leg. So he's not that difficult. His hand is the most annoying part of it. Alright, how we get the one in the stomach? Stomach. Alright, gotta be careful. Gotta get out of here. We're in danger territory. We are back against the wall, which is never good enough for anybody. Careful. I shouldn't have done that. That close. Dude. What the fuck? Get away. Alright. That was a big ass hit. He's just gonna back up. Alright. He's gonna go down on us. And I think we can get him. On his hand. Just gotta be careful here. Dodge out of there. And pretty much, he's pretty much dead. Right. We don't have enough stamina for that. I mean, FP. Just one slash in his hand. Dude. Careful with that. He's gonna be really careful now. He's really cautious about hitting him. Alright, we're gonna go down. And pretty much, you just sign your death sentence. That's it. It's not that difficult, especially knowing where to hit. So with our transposing clean and the solo the rotten great wood. And we have a bonfire to light. Let's just rest on it so we can get everything back. And as you can see, okay, that's somebody dying. We did. You see that guy right there? You know who he is? That's Hardrick? A dead Hardrick. The mad spirit. This is the shackles where you put in the shackles. And we can offer a better break. I think we can. Yeah. Coming into the that line, Steven. Alright. I remember we put one in that's pretty much the end and there's a bonfire because there's no other way to get out here right so we're gonna use the bonfire to go back to the firelink shrine to level up use our we're gonna have to use our our souls 
and check out new dialogue. First, ah, give her well the ash. Met, Ashen One. How may I be of service? Gracious, passing fine ash thou'st given. Let this ash bestow nourishment. I only hope these new wares content thee. <laughs> And now we can purchase some more shit. I think the purple moss or the prism stone, don't remember. We a uh, key to the door to the under settlement sewer. Alright. That's the key where the rats were. To open up that gate. That's the the dilapidated tower behind the shrine. We're not gonna get that. We could get this, but we'll get it some other time. Or should we get it now? I will get it some other time. We will get. Well, we'll just get it. Just buy it. Ashen one, B. Yeah, gotta be careful with that. And you, Grey Rat. Ah, there you are. You know I'm a petty. Th well, perhaps I'll go on the prowl. Everyone's dead up. or hollowed away anyway, right? So. I might as well fetch some weapons or treasure for you. Well, what do you say? Alright, you can send him to pillage to get more inventory for him to sell. The thing is, you the best way to do this is send him to pillage before a boss fight. So, because he comes back after a boss fight. So when I came here, I forgot to send him. Well, he was curled up. We couldn't talk to him, but we should have... Uh, teleport out, teleport back in, then we can talk to him, send him to pillage, do the boss, and then he'll be back. He should have been back right Thank now. Thank you. We're you will anyway. not be disappointed. Grey Rat the Thief was once a well-known name. Until I ended up rotting in a cell. <laughs> Alright. Goodbye. That's another one. Oh. Now with Joel. I would do it. Be safe. Cannot level up anymore. Not right now. And. Where do we ah, reinforce our class? Repair, reinforce. No. Pretty be careful. I think it's on this side that you repair. This is where you use it. We're under bone shard, okay? That'll make the bonfire level two. So that's good. We want this bonfire level two. It's a good bonfire to have. At the foot two. of Lothric Castle, an I'm old just saying the same thing again. Are you back? You're not back. And you have no other dialogue. Fret not, fret not. Yeah. That's what I thought. So let's go back to the... Cliff Under side. No, Dilapidated Bridge. Since we already opened up the... The... Shortcut, this is the fastest way. Gotta be careful here with these racks because they are alive again. You can ignore them. Just go over here. But okay, we are gonna go down through that cell door. I don't think you can activate them. Did we get close enough? No. We're good. So you can use the grave key that we just bought. Just gotta be careful down here. There are enemies. And some of you may know her. Line clock. Just be careful. Pray to the statue of Velka. 
You have no sin. I have not seen and no this. I don't want this other shit. So that's Velka. Oh. I know you bones will arm yourselves. But who who was the trigger? I know one of you guys activated. Good thing you can strike them as soon as there are they are arming so oh, alright, there you are. Always gets me. I was looking for them. But I guess just gotta get scared by them every fucking time. This side. Be careful here. Because once you go through here, the guy in the back will arm himself silently. And while you're waiting for the one in the front, he'll backstab your ass. And as you can see where we are, gotta be really careful here. Dude, no, no need. Alright, we got it. Gotta be careful here. Sometimes this fuckers throw. There you are. They just throw away their. They're very bushes thing. And they just jump down. They don't give a fuck. Taking a damage. So that's something to be careful of. Now, there is something that you can get down here. Sometimes the patrol from the witch fall down here and you have to fight them here. It's right there. Let's let us get our Unequip because fat rolling. Regular rolling. All right. The blessed red and white shield plus one. That's a really good shield to have. It's a plus one shield. Short range battle. Yeah, right here. You gotta be really careful. There are a lot of. Um, Rats that are gonna come out. They come through the walls, literally through the walls. Dude, hit. Okay, that's the bad. It would have been fine if you killed them when they were coming out, but your fuck face didn't do that, did it? This is a really good place to fight if you get a an enemy invasion, a player invasion. Growth required ahead. Yeah. You see the blood stains? You can lure the invaders here. Killed so many here when I got invaded. Lured them here. They just straight go straight. They fall to their death. It's a guaranteed fall. All right. And this place, as you can see, is a shortcut to this guy.
You don't deserve this. May the flame sky be. Did you have spouse? Huh? It's like a dream. <laughs> that guy. That's uh, good. Alright. Uh, who is there? Is someone there? Anyone? Oh, please. Whoever you are, touch me. The dark surrounds me, nibbles at my flesh. Little creatures, they never stop biting. So please, hold out your hand and touch me. Oh, I'm gonna touch you so hard. Tickle, 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 tickle. Ah, oh, yes, there you are. So close, indeed. And I am not entirely alone just yet. Praise the merciful gods above. Okay, you get a prayer. Oh, forgive me. I am Irina of Karim. I came to this land so that I might be a firekeeper. Your touch has freed me from the darkness. You are a champion, then. I am weak and unfit to tend the flames. But if it would not trouble you, might I enter into your service instead? Oh, thank you, sweet champion. Sure. Come with us. I shall take my vows. I, Irina of Karim, solemnly swear to serve you. Yep. That's another character that is needed for an end, for the end. As you will soon find out. But that's good. You've gone and rescued her, have you? How very quaint. Pitying creatures that are beyond help. <laughs> yeah. Very well. I'm sick of looking after her at any rate. I am Egon, a knight of Karim. I am allied to you for as long as you assure the girl's safety. And only for that long. What's the matter? My terms are very simple. I am allied to you for as long as you assure the girl's safety. And only for that long. Alright, we need to make an emphasis on how long he's going to be allied to us. Really important thing to note. Now, we're going to backtrack and explore this area. And then before we head on down. So, if Hopefully, you gotta be really careful here. Oh, I fucked up. Alright. We're good to go. Bow down, bitch. You're dead. Really like this weapon. I like the... The attack style of it. The attack set. And I like the reach of it as well. So that's another one dead. There are dogs here. Just gotta be really careful. We're right on this side. Dude. And get some skulls here. That's pretty much all there is. Now, on other games, there should be some things here on the well, just like any other Dark Souls game. But I yet to discover any items in the wells. So that's. So I think that's pretty much all there is down here, as I can remember. Again, I'm kind of. Everything's coming back to me slowly. I remember the first part really good, like this, this part and that part can't quite remember the rest of the game 
so we're going into it a bit blind so if I do miss something you guys can tell me but anyway there's something over here beware of a liar uh, yes. now we're gonna head up yeah up yeah we're gonna go up and we're gonna get off right around hmm. here See how this guy fell. Look at your skinny ass legs. No, you fell your ass. But we have. Mm. Two foot. Mm. Ah! Oh! Don't disappear like that. You had me downright worried. But thanks to you, an epiphany has struck me square in the head. I've unraveled the riddle of this inscrutable lift. <laughs> On some days, I begin to doubt myself. I went up the tower, so I thought, then somehow ended up here. I'm not exactly sure what happened. Anyhow, do you see that? That humongous beast? Yep. I'm no coward and I have a steady hand, but that thing makes my skin crawl. How now? Think twice before you go down that road. Dude, we're gonna go down that road and you're coming back. I me. could try talking some sense into him. No, I think not. He's far too overheated. I've got to use my head and think. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, just gonna repeat the dialogue. I could. I. Hmm. Dude, you gotta get your nerves up because we're fighting that fucker. We are fighting that fucker. I could remember there was something over here. Not quite sure. But, dude, you come with me. We are gonna fight. No! You should have waited! Well, it's too late now. I, oh. Zigward of the Knights of Katarina, fight by your side! Ha! Nice, that's battle cry. Be careful here. Do not die. Africa has reached for days. Alright, that's not fun anymore. You're not that hard. Alright, let's go see work. Kick his ass. Fire jam to infuse our weapon. <sighs> that was quite a performance. But you mustn't get in over your head. We unkindled must put our duties first. Unkindled, are But we? for the moment, we've a toast to make. So we get a gesture. Get the sick bro. To your valor, my sword, and our victory and I love together. This pose. <laughs> I love to use it. Toast. And now this guy. Well. I'm going to have myself a little nap. nap the only thing to do, Secret. really, after a nice toast. <laughs> he fucking falls asleep. Alright. 
So that's how you beat him. You just straight out slash him. Well, I straight out slash him. Don't know if there's any other way to beat him, but just that's how we do it. Now there is there isn't a way to get back up there. There are, however, some bones you can use, or you can continue on the path and and go out another way that is familiar to us that you will see. Now you gotta be careful here. There are these enemy cage enemies. Another way to fight him is to go into these. Okay, gotta be careful here. I think one of those fuckers fall down. Don't they? I thought they did. Uh, lure him into these houses and fire his ass. Fire, fire man's fire his ass. Right, that's the one that comes down. Oh, and you, you as well. That doesn't help here. You see, only do 28 damage. That's because our. Oh, damn. Throwing dank piles. Because our weapon does, like, blunt damage. It's not piercing damage. But we do get quite a bit of health back. So, this is a good weapon when you are low on Estes. Or really trying to set Estes, it'll help you out. I think there was a dog around here somewhere, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there you are. You died, right? I think you did. Okay. Damn it. Die. No, that's still blunt. It's not a. A piercing attack. So it doesn't matter if we do our special move on it, you won't be able to do much of it. Now, here, yeah, you gotta be very, very careful up here. There are cages, and these cages are enemies. What we can do is throw some bombs at it. So, and take care of them one by one because if we do it any other way, we're gonna get fucking ambushed. And not just by them, but we're gonna get ambushed by that way. You see her? You can barely see her. She's right there. So I highly recommend you take care of those first, and then come get her. And there are two of them, bitches. So let us start this off by hitting her. Really bad choice. We gotta separate them. I need one of you bitches to come down here. The other bitch can stay up there. Only one bitch at a time, please. Let's just get her in the mood. Come get me. Alright. Sorry. Again, same as any other one. Try her, lure her to do her spell. Dutch anything, damn it. That's a hug, and this is a backstab. It's not a backstab, because I missed the backstab, but you get the idea. The Evangelist Trousers. And now with her gone, we can take care of the other one. Can you smash? Afraid, alright. Alright, we got her. I was afraid for her to hit me and die because I have no life, but we're good to go now. Once they're dead, the way to go is up. Alright, we got a chest right here. Oh, 
with some pine resin. I think there, that's all there is down here. But hopefully we have enough life to do what we want to do. Because we're going to drop down somewhere. There is nothing on this side that I remember doing. I think on this side there was, there was a ring somewhere over here. Don't quite remember it all. And I think I missed some stuff down there. Because I didn't go down there. I think there were just some trousers or something like that. Anyway, there is a ring over this side. I think it's this side. Yeah, it's right here. The Flings Ring. Really good ring for five casters. Not mean spell casters, right? Lower equip load increases attack. That's even good for us as well. So we can take care of the blue tier still ring and put on this. The less equipment we have, the more strength we have, right? Can we see that? We have strength of 25. I don't think it shows us directly our strength. It only increases our attack. But we are going to equip it, right? And strength is 25. But our attack should have gone up. 114.91. Is there a way to see this? No. Alright. 114.91. Remove. No, there is no way to actually see this. I thought this was the ring for the spellcasters, but this ring will help us nonetheless. The less equipment we have, the less equipment load we have, the more attack we're gonna get. Which is good. We always try to get to have this type of rolling, which is good enough for light equipment. So yeah. We don't have... This build that I'm gonna do is more of a attack build. Like, attack before... Kill before they kill you build. It's not a lot of defensive build but at the at the beginning later on we might get some some defense but this is the way down right it gets bone right here and right here the entrance no guts ahead so, gotta be really careful here I'm gonna die, aren't I? Yep, I died. And that is really bad. He didn't jump, I wanted him to jump, he didn't jump. Let me run all the way back there. So we're right here. This is where our dumbass fell. But in good, we can now get the things we didn't get, which is we need to equip our bow. Yeah, not quite efficient at doing it. Right here. That's one. You got the warrior helmet and all that. Is this it? I think it is, yeah. Dude. That arrow. What the hell? The pale tongue. The large club. So that's what we missed down here. So it's kind of good that we died so we can get this. I mean it's not that important like the warrior things we already got because we are a warrior but you know just for completion sake 
we got it all now. Now we gotta go all the way back up there. Let's just remove this. And we're gonna run past the witches and the bitches. Hopefully not die in the process. I have to run from the dogs. From I think I'll kill the dogs. Because the dogs are bitches. They're just fuckers, jerks. But the witches dude come. I'm not gonna get I'm not gonna go there. Alright, next time try rolling before he hits you. Just gonna run for it. These are the triggers. Right, we're good. Those witches are the trigger to make the cages fall down. It'd be a bad day for you. See, like I knew we weren't gonna make it. Still tried it though. Where is my? There it is. Souls. Like quite a bit amount of souls, so yeah. We don't want. Alright. That's what we want to do. And then go down from there. We were still not gonna make it. If we would have jumped, we weren't gonna make it. You got the Mara vest, the trousers, or. And we get a ring. This is a good ass ring as well. I think it increases poise. So I think life ring or no, blood ring. Yeah, raises stamina recovery speed. Really good ring. More for us. So we came for the ring, the two rings, and some goodies. So now, as you can see, we're all the way down here. Should check, just check around since I don't quite remember at all. I think there is something on this side. There should be something on this side. There isn't nothing on that side. You hear that? Alright, that's all there is. So that's a little side quest you can do with Seaward as a companion. So we just go down from here and if we come over here we can see the boss area, the gaping hole, that's where we were, yeah, can't go back there anymore. Dude. You were supposed to stagger. I'll jump right through you. Good thing you die. Alright, why are you walking this way? You're not supposed to be patrolling this area. What's wrong with your AI? White swings. Right, dude. Calm down. Calm the hell down. Calm down. I'll chop you. I will chop you. Imagine a fucker coming at you like this. Down the street. With a big ass knife. Going like this. Hey, come help me. Come help me. Yeah. Imagine that. Alright. That's the fucker that drops down on us when you go get the thing in the bottom. So that's pretty much all there is. Okay, your AI is unblocked now. It's unlocked, so. You're gonna fall 
down to your death. And we're gonna be on our way. That's how this works. Next area is down here. Wait, we are going down. Don't. Don't. Oh, okay, good. I thought for a moment we were gonna go up. That's why I came down. But then as I wanted to come back down, I realized that I might die. But no, we're all good. Now, this area we can do two things. One, kill the fucker. Alright. That what we were supposed to do the first time around. You can kill him. You can kill him right now if you want to. But the next area is the Royal Sacrifices. I'm gonna travel back to Farland Shrine and use up my my souls and we'll come back next time and finish this area up. So as we make our way back to the Farland Shrine, I'm gonna say thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.